Yeah, pop your super. <laughs> what up, you gosh darn nerds, Fallout here, and today I'd really like to talk to you about this, the Collective Obligation, aka the brand new exotic that at least one of you out there watching won't get until around late June, and you don't even know which one of you it is yet. RNG is funny like that. Anyway, this beautiful looking contraption is the brand new raid exotic that drops from the Vow of the Disciple raid in the Witch Queen. I don't know if it's the best raid exotic ever, but it's really unique and delightfully silly, so if anyone out there is interested, I'll give you a quick breakdown of how it works and what fun things you can do with it if you ever get your hands on one. By the way, today's video is brought to you by Apex Gaming PCs. If you want to get an awesome high performance gaming PC, but you don't know where to start, don't even worry about it. Apex has got you completely covered. Hit the link down in the video description to check out their beautiful machines and remember to use discount code fallout at checkout to receive up to $250 off your purchase. Thank you, Apex. All right, back to the weird exotic gun. You can get this gun to hopefully drop from the final chest in the new raid after beating the disciple. If you haven't done the new raid yet and you're looking for a guide, I put together kind of a lengthy one the other day. Check it out maybe, link down below. Anyway, here's the deal with the exotic. It's a primary ammo void pulse rifle. Might seem kind of bland, but here's the unique perk, void leech. This weapon leeches void debuffs when damaging targets that are suppressed, weakened, or volatile. When charged up, you can manually change firing modes, and then in your new firing mode, you can directly apply the same void debuff that you leached using the weapon. I'm sure many of you have a few questions after reading that. I got you. First question, when it says leeching void debuffs, does that mean that you steal the debuff off the target and into the gun, essentially removing or ending the debuff? Thankfully, no. I might be a little bit off base here, but I think leeching might be a misleading word choice and copying might be a better choice. Leeching does sound cooler though. Anywho, if an enemy is suppressed, weakened, or volatile, shooting them will copy that debuff into your collective obligation. Second question, can you only leech one void debuff at a time into the weapon. Actually, no, and I'm really happy that's the case. Otherwise, the gun would probably be a little bit boring. In fact, let me show you a little something something. When you use the gun, you might notice that there are four circles in your scope at any given time, especially noticeable when you ADS the weapon. At first, I kind of thought they were just some wacky visual flare, but no, there's a tied in function. The three circles between three o'clock and six o'clock actually represent what type of void debuff is currently being stored into the weapon. The topmost circle, when filled indicates that your exotic is currently leeching the suppression debuff. The next circle down indicates that your exotic is currently leeching the weakened debuff, and the next circle down indicates that your exotic is currently leeching the volatile debuff. Check it out, I'll show you. I'm in a PvP private lobby here with my good buddy Mudkip. I tag him with a Titan suppression grenade, which also, thanks to my Titan aspect, will auto apply the volatile effect. I then shoot him once with the gun, and the first and third circle light up, indicating that I'm copying both the suppressing and volatile debuff at the moment with my rifle. So what the hell is that fourth larger circle hanging downtown at about six o'clock? When that circle is full, that means that your gun is now fully charged and ready to activate alternate fire mode. Real quick before we talk about that, I originally thought that when the weapon started kind of glowing almost, that that indicated alternate fire mode was ready to go. Nah, when the weapon is glowing, shimmering, whatever you want to call that, that is just another visual indicator to show you that your weapon has leached at least one type of debuff and is waiting for more. I thought there might be a timer on how long you can wait before the exotic maybe decharges, but that never happened. Apparently there is no timer, which is kind of great. All right, so in order to get fully charged and activate secondary fire mode, you have to land at least one bullet from three different bursts on a debuffed target, meaning you have to pull the trigger at least three times in order to get full on leech mode. You can't just do it with one burst. When that bottommost circle is filled, you can choose whenever to activate secondary fire mode. And then for the next 10 seconds, any shots that you land with the rifle will dish out any and all of the buffs that you've leached with it with every shot. By the way, I know the timer on the HUD says nine seconds, but there's that extra full second at the very end between when the timer hits zero and when it fully goes away. So yeah, actually 10 seconds. Naturally, this led to some really fun hilarious combinations. I don't think this is going to be too endgame PvP meta because the leech factor again requires three different trigger pulls and most people in PvP affected by any void debuff 
are going to go down quicker than Halo Infinite's daily player numbers. I'll talk about PvE applications in a minute because it's way more viable there, but I of course have to tell you that yeah, you can in theory get it to work in PvP, and it's goddamned hilarious. Hit someone with all three debuffs at once, you can shut them out of their super and two-tap them with bright, voidy explosions. I should mention that after your void leech fire mode is over, you'll get hit with a 10 second cooldown before you can use it again. Harsh, but fair, considering how ridiculously fun the gun is in PvE. Before we get there, there's one unique aspect of the gun I haven't mentioned yet, the other perk, Umbral Sustenance. The weapons mag will auto-reload whenever you gain Devour, a Void Overshield, or become invisible. Out of all those buffs mentioned, the one that immediately leapt out at me was Devour. If you're a longtime Space Magic floof and warlock like me, you will recall that when using Devour every time you get a kill, your Devour timer will auto-refresh. I'm happy to tell you that, yeah, if you have Devour active when using this weapon, and you get a kill with it, you both reproc devour and auto load your weapon at the same time. Is it bad that I'm already thinking about possible AFK macro farming potential? Forget you heard that. If you're bummed about not having Devour, good news, everyone can have Devour now, even Titans and Hunters. I'm sure most of you know that, but I'm probably blowing the minds of at least 12 people out there. Now that the new raid has been completed, four more Void Fragments have been unlocked. You can go grab them from Ikora at the tower. One of them is Echo of Starvation, which allows any Void class to activate Devour when you pick up an Orb of Power. Anyway, like I mentioned, the fun factor on the obligation really shines in PvE. We're currently at the height of Void 3.0 build crafting shenanigans, our current season artifact is rife with mods that can pimp out almost anything having to do with Void. I'll quickly give you a build I slapped together for funsies, but when you eventually get the weapon, you'll at least have a jumping off point for tinkering around. Shout out to my friend Zazar, by the way. He also designed my Twitch emotes. Great guy and also great RNG, apparently. He got the exotic on completion number two, the bastard, and let me hop on his account. Check him out on Twitter or even on Twitch. I hopped onto his warlock and even though there's probably a handful of exotic armor pieces that would pair very well with the obligation, I put on the Nezirak Sin. With Feed the Void, I can now kick off Devour every time I defeat a target with a Void ability, not hard to do with Void 3.0. With a Suppressor Grenade, I can naturally suppress people. With Echo of Undermining, I can also weaken targets with my grenade. And with Volatile Flow, I can make it so that after picking up a Void Elemental Well, I give any Void weapon I have Volatile Rounds. You can slap on a few other helpful armor mods that would go well, including, but not limited to, Font of Might, Elemental Armaments, Elemental Ordnance, Seeking wells, bountiful wells, and especially the all-new energy vampirism on the artifact. The TLDR is that you can easily spread around all three debuffs, leech them back into the gun, activate the alternate firing mode, and dish out massive void debuffing everywhere for even more mayhem. It is a damn fun crowd control weapon, and with both elemental wells and energy vampirism, you are constantly getting back ability energy to the point where you don't really have to wait for your next suppression grenade at all and making the room go boom with more elemental wells dropping very frequently. I only hope that Bungie kinda upped the drop rate on this bad boy because I'm sure that it'll still be good beyond the current season, but I think it just naturally pairs well with the current void heavy artifact mods. If I don't get this thing until winter 2022, even with weekly raid completions, I'm probably gonna get a little tight, knock on wood. Anyway, those are my initial thoughts on the new raid exotic. If there's any insane raid meta loadout that eventually pops up featuring the weapon, I'll be sure to fill you in. Don't miss out on that or any other content I put out. Click subscribe and ring the bell if you really want to be a Chad. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.